Come on, buddy. Guys have some serious attitude this morning. Yeah, they do. This one's already trying to eat it. <laughs> of course, Cotton was trying to eat it. Coffee, gym, poo cup. Fifty ounces, one point four seven liters of water. Yep. Energy's over there somewhere. Energy's over there somewhere. For the Shireen and us. Well, guys, we have officially hit that time that I promised. Didn't think I would deliver because that's that's how I roll, really. But. Double drops every week, meaning two of any video. I don't know which ones, what you might get when, but they're happening. So this is another voiceover video where I am alone. Shay has got to grind away on her uh, intense calorie burning, let's put it that way, as you can see right here. So this was more of a hit type of workout for her. You know, it was all about get your heart rate up, get it working, get at it. Uh, do the pulling, do the pushing, jump around. Like she was getting her heart rate up. And you're gonna see, you know, she's pulling some weight here, which again, you know, it's a lot. This isn't the type of workouts I particularly would do, but for her frame and everything, there's a lot. You can see she's exerting a lot of effort in here. And I guess quickly on the subject of why we're doing double drops. Well, we did get ahead, luckily, uh, we never fell behind so now that we have a few videos ahead I can kind of do this and deliver more content sometimes it's gonna be more vlog focused where there's more things going on sometimes it'll be this a voiceover and a general chat about what we're doing in the video and whatever and as you can see here again like if you go compare the first time we were doing the uh, workouts to now you can tell her body is, you know, taking shape. Here for me, I wasn't feeling the pull-up, uh, like the other actual pull-up bar, whatever the hell that's called, with a proper handle. So I felt like doing it here. Uh, my back was feeling really good this workout. So after those, I went right into, from pull-ups, I went right into pulls. Uh, right here, I would pyramid the weight upwards or stack the weight, however you want to reference that. So I started with a 45 on each side plus 25 and as you can see I'm allowing my like shoulders and everything to retract and then go all the way forward and then pull them back hold for just a quick second and all the way back I feel that this gets me the best results so this is how I do it and then I would go up and wait every subsequent set after this for three to four sets so I did this with pull-ups back to back I was feeling quite burnt out she had uh, more squats. Now, you gotta notice her squats change. Sometimes they're deeper, sometimes they're not. It's all dependent on how she's feeling. Uh, I believe this was one of the weeks she had a uh, dry needling session, which, you know, needles in the knees and around the quads. So she had to take it a little easier at this, but again, it happens. I was hitting, again, everything. It wasn't just back and whatever it was like a little bit of everything here so i went straight into biceps um i enjoy a good bicep workout sometimes isolation is good i didn't feel like doing regular hammer curls so i opted to do them here with the cable they got these new sweet cables with a really good grip so i really felt my biceps like engage in a different way and i was really trying to focus on that burn for that last you know couple just kind of a uh, isolate the bicep kind of popping if you will as you can see Shay is over here uh, I was tripping <laughs> um, it was a good time people were looking at us like we lost our mind but then again everybody in the gym I think has lost their mind somewhat uh, Shay doing uh, these thrusts what, what was hip thrusts I, I never do these um, you guys will see as the videos continue a couple weeks from now she's doing these with like eight ten plates so obviously uh, there's a certain madness and a method that goes together. That's sort of a thing that just happens here and you go with it. Now right here is something I've talked about before. She did these previously. I do them slightly different. 
I let everything sort of fall forward, kind of like I'm slouching. And then I only feel a really intense burn in my rear delts and traps when I do it like this. So I'm not trying to fully like retract my scapula or anything, but right here, as you notice, I change how I handle the weights as well. Sometimes they're turn inward, sometimes they're turn normal. Again, I do this for high reps because it just gets me an intense burn and I feel results coming out of it. And I do it up until I can't do a single rep and then I'm out for the count. Do you have a name under all those rippling, rippling pectorals? I'm feeling dead. So there we go. Now let's get some shopping. Let's see if you guys check these out. They're like the uh, syrups, sugar-free, fat-free, zero calories for one ounce. Generally, you round it up. If they say zero, it's usually five calories. That's the trickery, but that's still not bad because you can use this for whatever and you know you don't have to pound down a bunch of sugar. So the pumpkin spice white girl energy is high. Yes. Yo, get some of that French vanilla. French vanilla? Yeah, yeah. We have a whole big thing of vanilla down there. Where? The house, where you don't look. Well, that's the problem. I don't look. There's a whole big thing, like this big, of okay. vanilla. Okay, fair. So we got new flips, pumpkin spice. I'm we're gonna not addicted, just, I swear. We're gonna just try them right now. So here, should I open them up? Give us each two and we'll see how this goes. Well, let's see my failure of attempting to open these. Mm. There's two for you, two for me. Mm. You taste the pumpkin before you even bite down. Yep. It's mm. strong. It's really good though. This is pretty good. So, uh, recommend it, I guess. They're delicious. Yeah. Um, just don't eat the whole bag. <laughs> yeah, don't eat the whole bag. Definitely. Definitely.